Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 4 of complex analysis. Today our topic of discussion is de Moivre's theorem. Okay. So and the de Moivre's theorem is this. This is the de Moivre's theorem. Here cos theta plus i sin theta whole to the power n gives cos n theta plus i sin n theta. Right. So in order to prove this, we're going to take the help of Euler's formula. Right? Euler's formula that we have discussed in the last class in the lecture three in lecture number three so links uh, li link uh, links of the previous lectures are given in the description box if you want to watch then uh, you may go through okay so till now uh, we have discussed we have discussed in complex analysis that brief revision of complex numbers we have already discussed what do you mean uh, what does a complex number mean and their graphical representation some how to find modulus and uh, you know argument and all and we have all, all also you know discuss about Euler's formula uh, in lecture number three one two three let's from one to three we have discussed these topics now we are going to prove this d movers theorem right so now let's start uh, so the de Moivre's theorem is given by this uh, this is the theorem cos theta plus i sin theta whole to the power n uh, is equal to cos n theta plus i sin n theta right so let's prove this okay let us take the left hand side left hand side is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta whole to the power n and uh, here you see uh, we know that uh, cos theta plus i sin theta is e to the power i theta uh, according to Euler's theorem, uh, Euler's formula we have already got that e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta we have already discussed in the last video so e to the power i theta here you can see e to the power i theta whole to the power n that's going to be equal to e to the power i n theta right now here you see if e to the power i theta is equal to this one now let us replace this theta by n theta okay then what gonna be the result then you're gonna get obviously cos n theta plus i sin n theta right so what we need to do we need to replace the theta by n theta right that's that's it what we need to do okay so that's why what we're gonna get sorry for the spelling mistake here it should be you know the movers theorem this is the correct spelling just replace the e by r r by a okay that is the correct spelling so again by using euler's formula uh, we're gonna replace theta uh, we're gonna <laughs> replace this theta uh, here you see in this formula uh, we're going to replace this theta by n theta right so because n into this that's going to be i n theta here so this i n theta this i n theta will be considered as theta now and doing so by applying Euler's formula again we're going to have this cos n theta plus i sin n theta right so by Euler's formula right so hope you have understood this then uh, so let me tell you again so here you know this is the formula you e, e, this is the Euler's formula e to the power i theta cos cos theta plus i sine theta right so or uh, you can uh, do one more thing you can simplify uh, you can prove this another way so this is the let me write this is the right hand right hand side okay that's proved so you can prove uh, using another method that is what you another way uh, so here you see uh, this is the demovers theorem right so we can prove this way proof so we know by Euler's theorem Euler's formula Euler's formula that e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta right so 
we're gonna take power n on both side cos theta plus i sin theta whole to the power n this is suppose equation number one all right so or just uh, don't write one here so simply you can write this way e to the power i theta n or you can write i n theta cos theta plus i sin theta right now you see so you can do one more thing now this theta you see you can replace by n theta then what are you gonna have then you're gonna have cos n theta plus i sin n theta cos theta plus i sin theta whole to the power n right so this is the d mover's theorem hence proof that's how also you can prove this theorem okay so thank you for watching see you in the next video if you are new to my channel please subscribe the channel hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded okay so if the next part uh, is uploaded then it must appear at the end if not uploaded yet then you can get it later okay so see you in the next video